welcome back to my channel. It's Cerise here, and in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Eek So Beauty One and Only Palette. Now, this is the palette designed and created by Shani So, our lovely homegirl at New Zealand. Represent, yas. So, this is the palette here. Now, this retails for $62.99 New Zealand dollars. So, I'm really excited to go into this and look at it and just see what kind of colors you get for about 60 bucks. So this is it here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like 10 out of 10 for packaging. The packaging is just absolutely stunning. This is the back here and it's got her in her wedding dress. It's such a sweet dress. That is her in her wedding dress. It's just so sweet. I love it. I love it. So it is an 18 color eyeshadow palette. And yeah, I just, I, the box is just so stunning with this gold detail. It's really cute. But this is only the slip cover. So let's slide it off. And it says one and only on the back there. I don't know, 10 out of 10 for packaging because I think it's really nice. I like how thin it is. It's one that you can easily stack on top of each other. It's like a smaller version. So it's like easy to kind of, what do you mean like store away sort of vibes. So let's open it up and see what we have here. Dun -dun -dun! So these are the shades here, the 18 shades. And out of these 18 shades, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shimmers. So 10 mattes and 8 shimmers, which I think is a pretty, pretty nice uh, color story, color point uh, balance. That's the word I was looking for. So I really do love the color story. As you guys know, I am a sucker for nudes. So this is a really pretty pinky toned, warm toned nudie palette. So let's read what she says on the back. Hello, my loves. If you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of a classic neutral makeup look. I love to play with smoky shades, mattes, shimmers, and simple nudes. Although neutral eyeshadows are effective, I really struggled to figure out which shades to use on my wedding day. So I decided to make a palette that included all of the must-have tones in one place. This isn't just for bridal makeup, it's for any time that you want to feel polished, confident, and beautiful. Create a natural look, a smoky look, or anything in between. I can't wait to see your beautiful faces on my, in my newest palette. Enjoy. Love, Shan. XOXO. And then it's got like, you know, tag everyone on all the social media, all that kind of stuff. So these are them here. And there also is a mirror and it says, take a look in the mirror. You look amazing. With a nice mirror there. And you can see, oh, Inception. But I like how it has got a mirror as well. So I'm going to pull this little protective little bit off it. Because then I can do my face in it. Do you know what I mean? So these are the colors here. I think we need to go ahead and swatch them and kind of see how they swatch on the skin. Alrighty, so let's swatch both. Pretty nice brown. Then we've got Treasure. Oh yeah. Angel. I like this shade Angel. That's really pretty. Oh yeah. So she's coming a bit late luster, but that's all right. I'm like, do I have more fingers? Yes. Shade Bibi. Okay. Okay. And then we have shade Wifey. Mm. Soulmate. These swatches are really not very pigmented. That is the bottom line. That's just kind of wipe it off and we'll see. Now, I know that with a lot of eyeshadows, because they swatch a bit shit, it doesn't mean that the eyeshadow itself is shit. Brushes and it, like skin to pick things up better. Sometimes I've had palettes swatch amazingly and then you blend it on the eye and it's just pff, nothing. So it'll be interesting to see how this translates on the eye with brushes as well. So let's go with shade Babe here. She's getting a bit more pigment in there. And then we've got Hottie. And then we've got Crush. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Pumpkin, which is another shade that's got a bit of shimmer in it. Like a tiny little bit of gold. You can't really tell. And then we've got shade Lovely. And then we've got shade Sweetie. So those ones swatch slightly better, but still it's like not a lot of pigment that's getting picked up. So let's kind of see how the like shimmery top goes now. So if we go with shade Dearest, she's got some pigment, she's got some pigment. Then we got shade Honey, which, you know, she's a little bit there. Got shade Darling, she's got nice pigment to it. Shade Princess, which that is nice. It'd be a really nice highlighting color too. And then we got shade Cutie, which is very, very light. And then shade Bubs, which again, another nice kind of shimmer shade. 
So with the swatches here, it doesn't look super pigmented. I'm kind of like, mm, what's going to happen on the eyes? But I'm hoping with the brush, it'll pick up much better. So let's see how we get on. Alrighty, so I'm thinking what I might do is start with shade... I'm going to start with shade Honey all over the lid because that is the lightest kind of shade. And at least that way, we can kind of see, like put down some kind of base and see how we get on. All right, so, so far with the pigment that's been picked up, it's definitely picking up some pigment. I am having to go in there a few times to pick it up. So it is a buildable moment. Just going in there again. But it is definitely picking it up on the brush. Okay, so we've got the base on. So that's cute. We love that. Alrighty, and then I think I'm going to get... I'm going to get shade Angel, this one here, and we're going to put that in the crease here, and we're just going to see how that goes. So I just kind of lightly went in, and this definitely has picked up the pigment quite a lot. So see, again, just lightly brushing on. This palette doesn't particularly have a lot of fallout. I think these are like nicely pressed eyeshadows. Okay. I don't know what kind of look I'm creating right now, but she's cute. We've got that. So we've got that shade there. Then I think I'm going to get shade Cutie with the same brush. I'm just going to blend the top part of this color just so it's not um, like so stark. I don't want to like super obvious sort of thing. Just blending that out. So that is a nice blend that we've got going on there. She's a nice subtle pink kind of resembles that i've been like you know maybe a little bit punched in the face now but that's not it's not so bad it's not so bad then i think i'm going to get shade sweetie which is this one here and i'm just going to go all over that lid so kind of just working on top of the honey that we have put in before definitely is a palette that you've got to build up for because using it you've got to definitely build those tones up to kind of get I guess I'm pigment going then I'm going to get shade I think I'm gonna get shade bow I'm gonna kind of smoke out that edge so I'm just gonna just get a bit of that excess off and I'm just putting it in the outer corner of my eye there I'm excited to apply some of these shimmers because they're gonna be really pretty but I haven't had a lot of fallout under here, which is, like, really great as well. But definitely a nice little smoky eye transition. Okay, okay. All right, very subtle, very subtle. I like it. It's a subtle kind of tone. I'm like, maybe I'll put a little bit more in there. I feel like this is a really demure kind of eye look. See, she's she's nice, she's subtle, she's a little baby woman, little baby moment. I think I want to add a little bit of Lovely just to accentuate my crease a little bit. So Lovely is this middle one here. I'm just going to get that and just deepen the crease here. Okay, and then we're going to get, which one do I want to do? I think I'm going to get the shade Princess. I'm going to literally just get my finger in there like this. So it's on my finger and I'm just going to press it in to kind of create an almost cut crease, if you will. These like shadows are really, really like, like silky when you touch them. I know, it's just a really nice silky moment. These colours are definitely very, like, subtle. I'm normally used to, like, something so bright and bougie, but this is, like, a nice little subtle moment here. And then I think just on the centre of my eye, I'm going to go in with shade Bubs, just to give it a little bit of a pop right in that centre, just to give it a bit more sheeny shine. And then what am I going to do now? Underneath my eye, 
I'm going to go for that shade Bow on that outer corner there. Push in here. And I'm going to get the shade Cutie to do the rest of the underside, so in here. Alrighty, so I think this is kind of like the eye look that I've come up with. A very soft, silky kind of little number. If you want to smoke it out a bit more, you could get like maybe a bit of Babe. Because Babe's a really dark shade and just kind of put it in here. You can see how like pigmented that bit was. Just to add some smoke in there, a little bit of flavor, if you will. So that gets kind of added in there. So that has kind of deepened the eye look a little bit as well. So this is like a nice, subtle little eye look. Definitely like a bridal palette for sure. I'm going to go do the other eye now and then it will kind of put on some lashes and see how we get on. All right, now that both eyes are done, I'm feeling a little bit better about this palette because at first I was like, it kind of looks a bit lackluster, but it is just very subtle shades to kind of create like the look you're going for. So I'm excited to put on some lashes now and some mascara. And then we're going to come back and give our final thoughts on this look. Okay, so for this look, I'm literally going to be using some of the Shan XO, Shan XO, the XO Beauty Baby Girl Mink Lashes. So I'm going to be using these and putting them on. So let's do that. All right, so I've paired it with like a dusty rose kind of lipstick. And this is the final look here. So I am using the XO Beauty Baby Girl Lashes, just a little kind of baby lash. So what do I think of the one and only palette? Like, what do I genuinely think of this palette? So with the colors, like, when the colors are on the eye, it's... When the colors are on the eye, they're really nice, neutral colors. So if you're into big, bold colors, you're into really shimmery shades and things like that, this palette is not going to be for you. If you're, something, if you're wanting something subtle and elegant, this is definitely the palette for you. Definitely very good for your bridal moments, for your very no makeup days. It is a very um, buildable formula. So you've got to build this one up as well. So you can have it really subtle or you can have it as a built up formula too. But I think definitely with the lashes, the eye look looks way better. But um, yeah, like I, I think it's a really nice basic neutral palette. It would be really good for a beginner as well. And I think just a good staple to have in anyone's kind of kit. So what do you guys think of the one and only palette? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. What do you think of my eye look? Should I try it again? Should I try it? Maybe I'll do some like TikToks of it or something. Let me know. But until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.